Hello my dear students. Hello grade 5. Today we are going to study unit 10 part 1. Do you know what's the title of unit 10? Yes, the title is Add the Planetarium. As you see in the picture, this is the planetarium. Let's know more and more about our title and let's go on unit 10. Here in this part, we are going to know what are the learning objectives in lesson 1. We are going to start our lesson by conversation time. Then, we are going to know how to request permission. And, we are going to know how to deny requests. And also, we are going to learn how to express wants. Then, you are going to know how to express imperatives. And at the end, we are going to know how to identify speakers in a conversation. Let's start our conversation. What are the characters of the conversation? The first one is a girl. Her name is Kim. Then we have Miss Nadia and a boy called Rami. Let's go to another part. What's the story of the conversation? Here, today's conversation is at the planetarium. The students are on a field trip at the planetarium. They saw all the planets and the stars. They were happy, but they wanted to go to the snack bar and the gift shop. Let's know more and more and let's go to our conversation. Listen and point to the speakers. In picture number one. Hmm. Wow, did you see all the planets and stars? Yeah, that was a great show. In picture two. Miss Nadia, can we go to the snack bar? Can we go to the gift shop? No, kids, we don't have time. In picture three. Oh, but I want to buy a gift for my dad. And I'm thirsty. In picture four. Please, Miss Nadia, we will hurry. Sorry, kids, we have to catch the bus. Listen and repeat. Here we have a review. I saw a film at the museum today. Did you have lunch at the museum? No, I didn't. I'm hungry. Let's have some dinner. Let's know more and more and learn some new vocabulary about our conversation. The first word is planetarium. What's the planetarium? The planetarium is a building in which moving pictures and images of the sky at night are shown using a special machine. The next word is the word stars. It's so easy, as you see in the picture. The next one, planets. How many planets do we have? Yes, I think that you know the answer. We have eight planets. Snack bar, snack bar. As you see, the snack bar, like the candy shop. Gift shop, gift shop. Shop. It's a shop to buy some presents and gifts. Gift. As you see in the picture, this is the meaning of the word gift. Active vocabulary. Show. Show. Bookstore. Bookstore. Museum. Museum. Thirsty, thirsty, and of course it means that you want to drink. Hungry, hungry, and hungry means that you want to eat. Lunch, lunch, we have our lunch in the afternoon. Great, great, catch the bus, catch the bus. Important expressions and the prepositions that we have in our conversation. Let's learn them together. 
Wow! That was a great show. We don't have time. Buy a gift for my dad. Buy a gift for my dad. Here in this part, we are going to learn some irregular verbs that we have in our conversation. As you see, the irregular verbs are naughty verbs, so you have to keep them in your mind. Can will be could in the past simple tense or in the second form of the verb. Can, could, can, could, buy, both, buy, both, see, so, see, so, catch, coat, catch, coat, have, had, have, had, go, went. Let's repeat them together. Yes, can. Could buy boat see so catch coat have had go went super let's go to another part language functions in picture number one of course we have many language functions in our conversation let's learn them and study them together here you're going to look to know how to express surprise, expressing surprise by using the word wow. And then in picture number two, asking for permission. How can we ask for permission? By saying can we plus the infinitive form of the verb. Can we go to the snack bar? Can we go to the gift? Shop. Again, how can we ask for permission by using can we plus the infinitive form of the verb? Can we go to the snack bar? Can we go to the gift shop? And here we are going to know also how to denying permission. No kids, we don't have time. No kids, we don't have time. In picture number three, we are going to learn how to express wants, expressing wants by saying I want to plus the infinitive form of the verb. I want to plus the infinitive form of the verb. As you see, I want to buy a gift for my dad. I want I want to buy a gift for my dad. I want plus the infinitive form of the verb. In picture number four, expressing imperatives. How can we express imperative? As you see in the picture, has to or have to plus the infinitive. We have to catch the bus. So after has to or have to, you are going to put the verb in the infinitive for. Okay, so we are going to say we have to go, we have to catch the bus, we have to study hard. Let's go to another part. Here, this is a time for practicing. Are you ready, my dear student? I know that you're ready all the time. Here, listen and complete with one word. You're going to listen and complete with one word. Let's start. Miss Nadia said, did you see all that in the stores? Huh? Did you see all that? Hmm? Hmm? Yes, planets. Did you see all the planets and stars? Planets. Dina, yes, that was a great show. Can we go to the gift? Yes, gift shop. It's so easy. Can we go to the gift shop? Miss Nadia, no, we don't have time. Dina, but I want to hmm, a gift for my dad. But I want to buy a gift for my dad. Super. Miss Nadia, sorry, we have to catch the bus. We have to catch the bus. Super, students. Choose the suitable answer. Number one, did you see all the 
plants, planets, pools, ponds, and stars. Huh? Did you see all that? Which one? Planets. Yes, yeah, super. Planets. Pay attention of the spelling of this word. P-L-A-N-E-T-S. Planets and stars. Number two. Can we go to the breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, bar? Huh? Can we go to the snack bar? Super! Can we go to the snack bar? Number three. We don't have... Hmm, we don't have time, hour, clock, watch. We don't have time. We don't have time. The next question. We have to carry, ride, catch, match the bus. We have to catch the bus. Number five. I'm hungry. Let's have some. Hmm. If you're hungry, you're going to uh, uh, want some water, lunch, bus or film. I'm hungry. So let's have some lunch. Of course. Rearrange the following words to make correct sentences. Here, you're going to rearrange the words to make a correct sentence. First, uh, the first question or the first sentence, we go to the gift can shop. Hmm? It will be, can we go to the gift shop? We are going to start with the underlined word, can, so it will be, can we go to the gift shop? Number two, see, you did stores there. We are going to start with the word did, and pay attention, it's a question. So it will be, did you see the stores? Did you see the stores? Number three, great, it, show, was, am. Uh, we are going to start with the word it. So it will be, it was a great show. It was a great show. Super. Number four, have time. We don't. Hmm? We don't have time. We don't have time. Super. Let's go to another part. Here we are going to study lesson two. And before we study lesson two, we are going to know what are the learning objectives in this lesson. In lesson two, we are going to start with word time. We are going to learn some new vocabulary and words. And we are going to read short sentences and also to write short sentences. And at the end, we are going to learn some vocabulary about planets. Planets of the solar system. Do you know them? Yes, I know that you know all of the planets. Listen and repeat. Mercury. Mercury. Venus. Earth. Mars. Jupiter. Saturn. Uranus. Neptune. Pluto. Again, let's say and, and, and repeat them again. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Pay attention, my dear students, because if you're going to write the name of these planets, you have to start with a capital letter. We have to start writing these planets with a capital letter. All planets start with a capital letter. And pay attention also, the S in Mars is pronounced as Z. Mars. Mars. Super! Let's go to another part. Listen and point. Number one, Mercury. Where is it? Super! Venus, Earth, Mars, 
جيبيتر ساتل يورانوس نبتن and Pluto the last one Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto Super! Planets in the solar system Mercury, Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun Venus, the second planet from the Sun after Mercury and before Earth Earth is the planet we live on on Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun after Earth before Jupiter. Jupiter? Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. Pay attention, it's the biggest planet in the solar system. Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun after Jupiter and before Uranus. Active vocabulary. Ticket, ticket. Cool, cool. Important expressions and prepositions. Here is a ticket. Here is a ticket. Take pictures. Take pictures. Me too. What's wrong? Don't worry. Don't worry. Listen and point. Listen and point. Did you see the show? Yes, it was cool. Here is a ticket. Wow, thanks. Listen and point. That's a cool camera. Thanks, I like taking pictures. Me too. Listen and point. What's wrong? I can't find my teacher. Don't worry, I'll help you find your teacher. Exercises on vocabulary. Are you ready for the practice time? Okay. We live on hmm, we live on Uranus, Venus, Earth, Mars. Of course we live on we live on Earth. Number two when, who, which, where is the biggest planet? Huh? How can we ask about choice? Hmm? Which is the biggest planet? Number three Uranus. Saturn, Venus, Jupiter is the biggest planet. It's so easy. Jupiter is the biggest planet, of course. Number four, Earth, Mars, Venus, Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun. It will be Mercury. Number five, Venus is the first, second, third, fourth planet from the Sun. Venus is the second planet from the Sun. Super students! Here we have to listen and complete with one word. Are you ready? Okay. What's wrong? I can't my teacher. I can't hmm, find my teacher. What's wrong? I can't find my teacher. Don't. I'll help you. What does she look like? Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll help you. What does she look like? She's wearing a red dress. She's wearing a red dress. Look here. She is. Look here she is. Read the passage and answer the questions. Here, the students are on a field trip at the planetarium. They are looking at the planets and the stars. Romy wants to go to the snack bar and Ali wants to go to the gift shop. 
Miss Hepa says no. Rami and Ali are both unhappy. Rami is thirsty and Ali wants to buy a gift for his father. Miss Hepa says they have to catch the bus. Right, true or false? Number one, Ali wants to go to the snack bar. Is it right or wrong? Ali wants to go to the snack bar. False, it's not right. Number two, Rami and Ali are both unhappy. It's so easy. Yes, it's true. Number three, Rami and Ali have to catch the bus. Yes, right, they have to catch the bus. The next question answer the following questions. Number four, where are the students? They are on a field trip at the planetarium. Number five, what does Ali want to buy? Ali wants to buy a gift for his father. Super! Fill in the gaps using words in the box. Fill in the gaps using words in the box. Likes, planetarium, in, signs, and like. This is Hani's father. He is a teacher at primary school. In a primary school. He teaches science. Hani's favorite subject is, of course, science. Hani's father is a good teacher. Hani and his father, sports. Like sports. Yesterday, Hani and his father were at the planetarium, looking at the planets. Super! Thank you, my dear students. See you, inshallah, in the next part. We are going to study at the planetarium part 2. Bye-bye!